Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 33-year-old female who complains of knee pain. She felt a pop recently. And we're going to make a quick diagnosis here. So here we go. This is a sagittal view. Her femur is here. Her tibia is here. She had a pop, so we're, we worry about the ACL. But her ACL looks pristine. This is her anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, coming from the femur to the tibia. Her PCL is this dark band here looking normal, so no ACL tear. And if we get to the lateral side of her joint, we see this dark band. This is her lateral meniscus, which is over here. The lateral meniscus looks completely normal. This is her medial meniscus, this little black wedge. You run over to this side. Medial meniscus looks normal in the front, back, and side, so no meniscus tear, no ACL tear. Now we're going to look in the front of the knee. This is her kneecap, her patella. Put up a view like this to see. And here it is. This is her finding. She has a problem in her patellofemoral compartment here. Her patellar tendon that comes off the kneecap down to the tibia is too long. This is developmentally elongated, causing the patella to be high riding and unstable. We call this patella alta. We see that also the patellar articular surface is very flat. Normally it's a deep V. And when this is flat, and also when the femur here has a flat articular surface like this patient does, they don't have a deep V or deep trough for the patella to sit within. So when both these surfaces are flat like this, the kneecap is unstable. It's not held in here, and it can slip or sublux. And with the high riding patella, this makes it worse. And we see she has a, an injury here of her cartilage. This area right there, that vertical line, this is a little chondral fissure, a little tear of the cartilage. Her cartilage is the gray rind here. This is the middle, the apex. This is the lateral. And here's the medial patellar cartilage. It has an injury. And what happens is, with instability, the kneecap will jump out of the joint, and it will impact out here in the lateral femur. And they'll be left with a bone bruise, just like this. This fogginess is a bone bruise or bone contusion. This is normal darkness, and this is abnormal brightness. So this is evidence of a transient patellar dislocation. The kneecap dislocated, impacted, caused a bone bruise, and jumped back to normal position. She's left with a chondral fissure and a joint effusion. And that's it. Thank you so much.